Hello, my name is Noelle Trejo, I'm production designer on Smurfs. Regarding props, we've been analyzing what uh, Peyo does when he tackles his Smurf world and the Smurf village, and we've been looking at images like this one, for instance, where we see all the Smurfs gathered at a table, and it's in their own village, they've built that table, yet they've built it too big for them. So they look like little toddlers at a table. The top of the table is right under their armpits, and it makes them really cute, really charming, as though they're little kids. Also, as you can see in this image, they stand up on a stool, or they stand up on a chair to read a book on a table or get to the cauldron or things like that. All of these are things that actually make it obvious that they've been building objects that are too big, too chunky, just a little bit too oversized for their own scale. And it's it's a conscious um, decision that Peyo did to really make it look like all those characters are small little toddlers and gives them a lot of charm. So to translate that for our 3D movie, we go ahead and have our designers and painters draw and paint uh, a whole range of props that they will be interacting with from a pitchfork to a saw to a pen to anything that they're going to be holding and they're all very uh, chunky and uh, very playful. Here you can see that we also have other types of um, props, we call them the set dressing for the exterior of the Smurf village, they're exterior props and they're also very chunky, very cartoony. For example, you can look at the, the wheels on the cart, it's got really thick chunky wheels and uh, even the little nails and little elements in every object is, is really big and the proportion of things make it look very um, cartoony and, and very cute. As you can see on this painting, we put also attention to texture to give it a painterly feeling and we do look at original photos and references as a starting point, but then we want to really introduce it, a stylized, uh, painterly approach to, to texture. For the paintings of wood, for example, we have the, the wood grain that uh, is actually larger than what a human-sized cart would have uh, when it's made of those different planks of wood. You would see a lot more small details on a real cart, and here we've, we've increased the size and the scale of all the texture um, and then we stylized and simplified the vein of the wood itself, the little eyes and veins, and then we added a, a, a wood grain to it. So we have a painterly layer, we have a photo texture layer that we've been tweaking and, and stylizing, and we've got several layers as we build our textures. Smurfs are fairly small creatures. When we see them, it's a cartoony comparison, but when we see them next to Gargamel, they're about knee-high to Gargamel. So if this is a card in which a, a Smurf can sit, it, it will tell you that it's kind of like a toy size, what we're used to seeing as toys. As you can see on this uh, Smurf berry pie, um, just for an, also an, a good example of scale, we only need one Smurf berry on top of that pie, and it's already pretty cute and, and very large. It gives you an idea of the, how big those berries are to the Smurfs themselves. Our movie takes place in the medieval times, so all these elements are built with what means they had at those in those times, so we don't ha have anything that's high-tech and everything. Also those uh, props, especially the ones in Smurf Village, they're all handmade by the Smurfs, so there's, there's a charm to the fact that they're handcraft, there's uh, rounded uh, edges and everything mixed. It's almost like they were uh, sand smooth, um, polished, and there's no any sharp uh, edges or points to, to those shapes. 